We are shooting scene 106, and I knew that from memory. The Twilight Saga Eclipse needed to be epic. Between its vampire battles and emotional love triangle, David Slade had to create the ultimate third part of the Twilight franchise. It's such a different experience. In this behind-the-scenes look at the movie, you'll see that the cast and crew's love for Stephanie Meyer's story and a whole lot of hard work is what made it possible. Ready to see some groundbreaking CGI and what Taylor Lautner was really like off-camera? Don't hold back. Not in my nature. While the characters grew and changed throughout the Twilight Saga, there was one thing that stayed consistent, vampire speed. One of the biggest challenges of the movie has always been to capture vampire speed. Getting human actors to move at an inhuman pace, not the easiest. The film crew had to come up with some unique creations, like the magic carpet that they used during Eclipse. It was basically a large treadmill that they'd have the actors run on while speeding by with the camera on another truck. So long as you're not seeing their feet, it feels like they're actually going very fast. They'd also have another version of the carpet that they'd use in the studio for scenes that required green screen. The cast got a little competitive with it, and even challenged one another on who could run on the carpet's fastest level. I beat everyone. While the magic carpet was kind of magic, there were just some vampire shots that couldn't be done without the help of computers. Like this Victoria moment that required them to construct the entire scene digitally after filming with her stunt double in the studio, where they had to create custom green screen platforms to imitate the jumping. She's close. The vampire speed wasn't the only road bump they had to overcome. Filming on Vancouver Mountains wasn't ideal for the cast and crew of Eclipse because the fall weather didn't offer them the snow they needed, and fake snow was out of the question in public areas. Instead, the set director got creative. We built the entire mountaintop on the stage and dressed it with the snow that we would need for the sequence. It took a crew of about 50 people to go through these vigorous steps to bring Stephanie Meyer and director David Slade's vision to life. The set was surrounded by green screen and gave them the freedom to film the bone-chilling final battle with Victoria and Jacob and Edward's emotional heart-to-heart -heart in the tent. If she chooses me, would you try to kill me? That's an intriguing idea. In the end, it was the right choice, not only visually, but because they were able to spend as much time as they needed in the studio, whereas on location, they would have been constrained by time and we could spend three weeks shooting the final conflict, which required extensive amount of stunt work and wire work. The werewolves in Eclipse may have looked epic on screen, but behind the scenes, not so much. They used plastic wolves, werewolf-shaped punching bags for the fight scenes, and Taylor Lautner even stepped in as a stand-in for the more emotional scenes. Oh, there's Taylor. Hey, hey. Taylor. What's hey. up, Taylor? How you doing? But the hard work was actually adding the werewolves in during post-production. We pushed a lot of our technology further than we've ever pushed it on Eclipse. They added more detail to the wolves in their fur and even their muscles than they had in the previous films. When it came to filming, each location needed to be scanned and created as a digital 3D model to integrate the wolves in their scenes seamlessly. I'll strategically shoot points on this hill right here and I'll use those points so that we can build a 3D model of it later so that our wolves have something to stand on. They came a long way from using real wolves in the first film. I've decided to throw a party. At your place? I've never seen your house. No one's ever seen their house. Moving filming locations from Portland to Vancouver after the first Twilight film got even more complicated in Eclipse when the crew realized that they'd be needing the Cullen House a whole lot more. Naturally, they came up with a solution. We knew that we couldn't consolidate everything into one room and cheetah like we did on New Moon, so we made the decision to build the structure. Yep, they built the entire interior and exterior Cullen House that we see on screen during Eclipse, right down to the forest surrounding it. They filled the exterior of the house with fake trees, rocks, and realistic canvases. My name's Xavier, I play Riley in Eclipse. David Slade knew that telling Riley's story properly was important to tie the film all together. But with the books being from Bella's point of view, they didn't have much information on Riley and had to bring in the expert, Stephanie Meyer. There was a lot of confusion as to what was going on off screen, and I had some stuff written up for Riley, so we went through that. Once his story was established, they set off to their locations with a lot of rain machines. Xavier was a trooper and shot in a wetsuit for hours to keep warm while doing a lot of the wire work himself. Oh, the wolf coming up. Run. We all know while watching a movie that everything is not what it seems, but knowing and actually seeing the behind-the-scenes footage is a whole different story. 
During the scene where Jacob carries Bella through the forest took a lot of prep work. I literally went and got my rear end molded to make this day easier on Taylor. But their plans, involving a super innovative rig and molded seat, didn't go as planned. The idea was for Taylor to just support Kristen's weight while walking with her in the rig. But they just couldn't get it to look realistic on camera. They're like, Taylor, can you just carry Kristen for the day? So poor Taylor spent hours walking back and forth carrying Kristen. While it was a piece of cake for him in the beginning, by the end of the day, he was completely broken. By the end of the day, my arms are just like shaking so bad. Speaking of on-set workouts, the Cullens actors went through some intense training for their roles as vampires. They put like a piece of cheese up there and then we all run, try to get the cheese. Before filming even began, they attended group workout sessions to get in shape and develop their fighting techniques. Welcome to our vampire bat cave. This is where all the booty kicking goes down. It was important to David that the Cullens each had their own style of fighting that represented their background, while also taking into consideration the moves Jasper would be showing them from his war days. One more thing. <laughs> Never turn your back on your enemy. For example, Alice is more agile and light on her feet, while Emmett is all about his size and strength. Believe it or not, the actors performed a lot of their own stunts, adding to the realism of it all. Would you do me the extraordinary honor of marrying me? The Eclipse team had the tough task of bringing to life Bella's engagement ring. It took them four different attempts, and in the end, they only achieved the level of perfection they needed by asking for help from Stephanie. What we ended up doing is having a conversation with Stephanie Meyer, who then drew us a little sketch of the ring that they ended up finally building. The ring is 14 karat white gold, and Kristen ended up being the lucky one who got to take the ring home as a memento of her time on set. I'm gonna need that ring. We can't talk about Bella and Edward's engagement without discussing their meadow and how it came to be. David recognized that this was one of the most important locations in Bedward's story and needed to make everything perfect. This meant creating an idealistic place that was cinematically beautiful. It's the only piece of sanctuary that Edward and Bella have. To bring his vision to life, they hand-planted thousands of flowers. And mixed with Kristen and Edward's chemistry, the scene was breathtaking. We have established dynamics that nobody can mess with. Before bringing these beautiful scenes, like the meadow, to life, they had to deal with one small tiny matter, Kristen's hair. Kristen had cut her hair for her role in the film The Runaways. The Twilight filmmakers were completely against the notion and even offered Kristen what she called many ridiculous things to not cut her hair, but she had confidence in the wig department. Confidence that may have been misplaced. I just thought we'd have a better wig and uh, it's okay. Her wig and eclipse wasn't the greatest and caused a lot of issues in the editing room that resulted in reshoots. There were even reports that because of the wig, Kristen was involved in some heated talks while filming the tent scene, and Stephanie Meyer herself even confirmed the wig troubles. And it's something that they've had to deal with. They were able to fix the wig, but fans still had their issues with it when the film was released. We're throwing grapes into Taylor's mouth. The cast and crew weren't always dealing with an issue or two. Some days on set were just about having some fun. Or for Taylor, good old healthy competition. When he was bored in between takes, he would gather his own tiny film crew with an assistant and create challenges for himself involving grapes and footballs. He may just be the greatest grape catcher Hollywood has ever seen. Were you watching that? What would a movie set be without some great outtakes, including these hilarious bloopers? <laughs> with a cast that was spending every day for months with one another, we can only just imagine how many funny moments took place on camera and off. Where could she be? Oh, there she is! According to Kristen, there were a lot of these moments, especially between her and Robert Pattinson. Me and Rob laugh more in the really serious scenes and like much, much less in the scenes that's supposed to be light and funny. They just couldn't keep it together and ruined multiple takes while working with one another. It's ironic to think about how Rob went from almost being fired on the first Twilight film because of his seriousness to him not being able to stop laughing while filming a clips. I came back off, I came back off the lunch, I was like, hi, I wanna keep my job. <laughs> one thing is for sure, Robston's chemistry was undeniable. So it's not just about me. No. Eclipse is the turning point in the Twilight Saga for the audience, and Bella Swan herself. 
From groundbreaking CGI to hilarious bloopers, every aspect came together to create one of the best films in the franchise. What behind-the-scenes moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.